I just want to let you ladies know if you wanted to, he would. So I went on a first date with this man last week and I was trying to take a photo of my food like everybody does if your plate looks good, you want to take a photo. But my phone ran out of storage and I was like joking and I said, damn, I need a new phone. Like, this is crazy. Can't even take a photo of my food. He asked, if you had a new phone, like what phone would you want? I told him the phone I would want. First of all, that's crazy to ask. If you, if you wanted a new phone, which one would you want? Because my thing is, that's not even a joke I would make. The only reason you would say something like that as a man is because you're being kind of desperate in a sense. Like, you you that desperate to where you, you're contemplating buying her a phone. Like, that wouldn't even be a joke for me. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's how I kind of see it. Like, that wouldn't even be a joke because if you make, she said she was joking and you, you, you know what I'm saying? You bit the bait. Tell me why second date today. Why did he show up to the date with what a bag? What's in the bag? A brand new phone. Like, come on now. If he wanted to, he would. Don't settle. For, don't settle for less because this man surprised me with a phone on the second date. Here's the thing. Even when I was in high school and, I, you know what I'm saying, I was a, a super simp, you know what I'm saying, to the max. I never ever thought about buying a phone or something of that caliber early on. To me, that's never made any sense. You know what I'm saying? There's no need to doing that because she already knows that you're a trick. Because she said, hmm, you know what I'm saying? She thought about it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's watch the beginning of the video again. But my phone ran out of storage. And I was like joking and I said, damn, I need a new phone. Like, this is crazy. She was joking. Keyword, joking. Saying the fact that you are buying a phone, you are setting yourself up for all the failure because there's a dude that's not even doing half of that or a fourth of that and he's getting everything he wants out of the situation. It makes no sense to, you know what I'm saying, to present yourself in that way. Because if you're buying a $200 phone, or I don't know, cause iPhones now, I think she showed the receipt, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and watch how much she put up on the receipt cause I think she took a snapshot of it. And I say this to say, like stop choosing the bare minimum men because it's men that really like you and will do whatever. I think the bill was like a thousand something. I'm not even sure, but that's agree it's egregious. And as a man, what you gotta understand about these women, they already know if they like you or not. So it's no need of, you, you want to, you want to call the bluff on people. And the way you call the bluff on people is by being able to identify, is this person rocking with me or they're not rocking with me? What you gotta realize is the actions tell it all. When people, I ask people to hang out and they say maybe, or, you know, I'll let you know, you know what I'm saying? I, I understand that the ball is in their court. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Co Coach Corey Wayne. Like the ball is in their court. So you gotta wait for her to hit it back over the net. If she knows that you're interested, you've made the, you know what I'm saying, the offer. So now you have to do the due diligence to be able to sit back and relax and, you know, and then it eventually, it'll handle itself. Like when you lose a woman's respect, man, it's gone forever. Once a woman realizes you're not who you portrayed yourself to be, it's over with. And that's what happened to me so many times. So when you present yourself as a trick, or oh, I'm gonna I'm a buy her a phone. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to, you can't buy love, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't buy love. It's just not happening. You can't negotiate love with women. They either want you or they don't. You know what I'm saying? There's no in between. So for me, you know what I'm saying? Especially now that I touched down at 3-0, at 30, you know what I'm saying? I don't focus on, you know, if, if she likes me or trying to hit her up, see what she's doing. I don't play those type of games. Like to me, I'm, I'm gonna see if you wanna hang out. And if you're not trying to hang out, that's cool. Then, you know, that's God's way of saying, like, you know what I'm saying, that you're not for me. As a woman that's gonna be for you, she's not gonna put all these different type of barriers in your way, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like, yeah, I got this day free, or I can't meet this day, but I can meet this day. She's gonna give you a counter option. She's gonna, you know what I'm saying, smooth. She's not gonna be with the games, but a woman that doesn't want you is gonna be with the games. Bottom line is when you realize the value that you have within yourself, there's no need to trying to, you know what I'm saying, prove yourself to a sense to a woman. Because if you understand the fact that a woman knows if she likes you or not already, then you'll understand that her actions are gonna dictate if she likes you. If you pay attention to that, you'll be able to 
weed women out, you know what I'm saying, more properly versus when you let your emotions lead you, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna be hard for you to make these decisions because you're looking at how you feel about her and not what she's actually doing. You gotta be able to validate and love yourself and, and control how you feel and control your mental and your mindset and, and continue to keep your confidence where it needs to be. You know what I'm saying? Continue to focus on you being the gym. Work on yourself as an all-around person. You know what I'm saying? Work on all of your money, credit, you know what I'm saying? All of that, trying, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get a new spot, trying to level up. You know what I'm saying? That's what the focus has to be on. And still man, have fun, have a social life. I have a good social life. I have people I hang out with, you know what I'm saying? People I see and, you know, I just enjoy my life. You gotta be able to enjoy your life. For so long, I didn't enjoy my life. Like. I hated being alone, you know what I'm saying? It was miserable. I didn't feel good about myself. I felt misunderstood. But then, you know, I started to lock in on who I was and focus on me and and um, focus on my craft and, and things changed, man. Things changed. I gained experiences that changed my life forever. All right, guys, that's my video for today, man. I appreciate you guys coming over to the channel as always. Guys, make sure you contain a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.